definitely not. I think E8 Nova is going to be a good match for a couple of teams that is within this grouping. Just not easy our booking, you know? Yeah. But I, I, that being said, I do want to see some serious fights. I want to see easy our bookie drop a few rounds. That's going to give me the confidence in this team to perhaps just, you know, pour some oil into this engine as well. Let's see if E8 Nova can excite us a tad bit now. Yeah, I mean, uh, one thing that really is exciting is range being taken down. And it's now a 4v4. 4v5 situation and there's a little bit of slowdown in each team's approach no one wants to show up that easily especially as uh, snipers is still available yo Bob's is in there and we know how he is but we will have to find out if he'll be able to go on to the peak heal right now opportunity and yo Bob's has been taken down I guess I'm cursing a few of the players right now the moment I, I mentioned them they are going down what Yato says otherwise Absolutely, Yato shuts him down. AG finds Novi as well. The hope dwindling down here for E8 Nova. But Veen accepts it right back up for the hope of Malaysia. Veen acts with a triple. And he finally shows up. This is the moment where I get a tad <laughs> bit excited, baby. Chayala Malaysia. Can they continue to do this? Can they shut down the Philippines in this SND matchup? Can more players step it up just like how Weenex has done? I mean, we can't be hoping and praying for the guy to just continuously slay every single round. It needs to be a team effort, Gen FQ. Yeah, it needs to be a team effort, and uh, like can, they can go for the same um, pattern as we've seen earlier. They took down range, um, already taken down one of the roamers, and uh, they also took down Yobab. So it's it's com good combination of elimination for them to start it off, but they need to be careful because we know Easy Art Bookie is uh, having a plan of their own to go for a quick rush, but again i love how it is being cautiously taken by both sides what can they pull off in this round as ag finds kiel a little bit of a uh, waste as he did manage to find two frags the previous round so that's a huge blow to e8 nova instantly and we turn the tables no the two frag is from round one down and out nobi goes out as well leo and snacks are they going to be eaten up as Snacks or will they turn the tables? Jabin sneaks around. The timing's not good as Snacks hits a perfect quick scope onto Jabin. Leo backs away. Lucky to get away from Jabin's scopes. <laughs> and yeah, that's one thing. I mean, at some point, they slowed it down, but the reaction time is also being slowed. Thus, two players has been taken down from E8. Nova. Now, uh, the one guy, one takedown has, is more of something that the, we are really expecting, but range being taken down as well by Leo. This is could have been a good run, but with one player remaining, it's going for the easy arm. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's see if or not Yate Nova can show us a little bit more of where the fire came out in that first round. Snacks and Leo. Grabbing a couple of frags for themselves here. E8 Nova, I mean, I'm believing after that first round. They they can't match up with the gunfights. Yeah. Perhaps the strategy is going to be an issue here. Defensively, they are going to be forced to split apart first. But the moment they get this information, you can see... Oh, I wish to see quick rotations coming on through. Player 1 and 5 from the side of Team Blue. They are rushing on through. So Easy Art Bookie is going to be one man down initially. But very quickly recover the situation. Snacks left all alone. And Rage finds no problem finding him. Range, if I'm not mistaken, that was almost an ace uh, from Range right there. Or probably just a three-piece. But again, Range is one guy that you need to take out first. Because once you get close and he gets that angle on you, regardless if it's long-range or close or face-to-face battle, you are getting damaged. So 2-1 to one score right now. Defenders is still easy or bookie. But as you can see, one... 1-4 uh, split coming from E8 Nova. They want to take it slow once again. Yeah. Again, the only suggestion is for their reaction time to be quicker. Uh, I, I think there is a possibility here. If E8 Nova just slows the attack down because clearly the players on the side of EZR Bookie are very restless. You can see the mm -hmm. long rotation round from player 2 and 3. Those blue dots. They have found the back step position, and Leo has a chance here, but Rage is going to find a double. Leo goes down as well. The flankers for the side of Easy Bookie very quickly overwhelm E8 Nova. 
And what I'm expecting from E8 Nova here is to slow it down to a pace just enough where they can punish EZR Bookie for overextending. But I don't think E8 Nova expected an overextension there. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, that's they didn't see that in the first few rounds. And this is EZR Bookie just slowly going into their pace as well as putting a, a notch higher so that they can have the advantage. And that's what they're doing. They have a lot more time on defense because yeah. later on in the switch side, they can end it on the attacker if they go in for a quicker run. So they're just buying all their time that they have on defense and uh, just outsmarting what the movement E8 Nova has on. This is Snacks' moment to rise for Jabin. Off angle, Yobab's trying to connect from the cross as well. Race find Snacks. Snacks taken up with a fantastic headshot from the back. Yobab's spotting a couple of players. Jabin can't find one through the pillars just yet as he swings around, hitting one alongside Rage as well. Rage finding the double for himself, and that was just way too easy for EZR Bookie. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's getting faster and far, faster for each round. And, um, we are seeing a little bit of momentum coming from EZR Bookie. They understand where E8 Nova is placing themselves. Thus, they can take him down a little bit quicker. Now, it's 4-1 right now. And it will get close to the result of other series that we've seen if they can continue this on up to that 7th target. But Yoz right now needs to start it off going for those windows as well as he peaked and missed that opportunity. But again, it's uh, the, it's the pace of E8 Nova that's throwing off the game of EZR Buki in terms of that early frags. Nobi's intention is to find the plan and he does exactly that Ooh, really what? well. Rage finds a barrel sticking out and he just takes instant advantage. Jabin finding DL just means that Nobi is the final victim left. Uh, easy, quick shows here for EZR Bookie who are on the fastest run thus far throughout day two. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, I, I'm seeing the pattern emerge. It slows down, slowly become quicker. This time, like, easy R. They will be the attackers. They can dictate the pace. And the pace right now is much faster, probably going in for that Bravo plan. But they need to get information yet onto the other side as well. So good spread coming from EZR Bookie. But I mean, the intention is already in there. It's more of the defense that can be pulled off. But E8 Nova with his boats. That's a good start, but not so much against Yato. But Yato will be traded as well. Quick plan, and it seems like Snacks and Bean X once again waking up. Kiel finally stepping up to the plate as well. This is where E8 Nova turns the tables. AG and Ray still alive and kicking. It's a 2v3. Ray just spams, do not click, and Bean X slides on out. The timing, the timing, but he still gets snacked upon. Kiel is the final player. Novi swings around, finds the player tags, do not connect perfectly, and this is just a wild goose chase. <laughs> finally connecting, but AG. This ends the dream right there. Yeah, that was a like that was a good run for side of E8 Nova. They have a potential to go in, but unfortunately for the final moment, that's not looking good for them. If they can replicate that in a better spread for side of E8 Nova, they can outsmart a few, a couple of players from EZR, and uh, they can uh, pick them off one at a time. But Adjustments will be done by EZR as we can see the 2-3 split a little bit in the middle, but Kiel will be taken down by Javen, and Javen right now is not pulling off with a sniper, so I guess this is something that they are ready as they face off in Meltdown. Match point, baby, for your reigning defending champions. Leo and Bean X can try to delay the inevitable for a tad bit, but how much is that gonna get them? It's a 2v4. Vein X goes down. Leo to save the day. 1v4. He gets the 1. Makes it into a 1v3. But is that enough hope? 30 seconds to go. Spots yet another player on the swing. Connects with a couple of shots. And he's just trolling him at this point. Turns around. Not even shooting him down. Yobabs is an absolute clown. I believe they are trying to go in here for a melee. Maybe even an execution. But Yato says he's not going to play that game. Ends the SND. Ends the SND on 7 to 1, and I guess this is. Uh, I, I, let me just 